All right, so in this video, I'll be covering how to resize your text view. Um, and this one is going to be focusing mainly on doing it in Storyboard. So go ahead and start a new project, single uh, view. Enter a name for your project. I'm just going to do um, text view date size. You can add something a little bit more descriptive. All right, so open up your main storyboard. Okay, and here we want to go ahead and drag on a text field just so that we can practice and work with this. Go ahead and drag on a text view. And then we're going to drag on a view. Now, if you're unsure about anything that I have just done or what I have chosen, just go ahead and look it up. So um, what I'm going to do is bring this text view as a sub view of the view that I just added. I'm going to line it up here. At any point, you can skip through this. I'm assuming that you know how to add views and whatnot, so I will be speeding this up just to make it look pretty. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background of the main view. I'm going to change the background of the sub view and choose a different font because <laughs> I like to choose my fonts. All right. Okay, so I have um, made it really clear what is what. So the view here is this nice bright orange. The main view is a uh, light blue. And so now I'm going to go ahead and open up the assistant editor. And what we want to do is create some outlets. So I have added my outlets and changed the uh, force forcibly unwrapping it to optionals uh, just in case we have any issues it doesn't break our um, program okay so the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set some properties for the text field as well as the text view so in the text view what I want to do is I actually don't want to make it editable so I'm gonna click that selectable is fine and then I want to uh, turn off scrolling. So turn off scrolling. I'm going to shorten this a little bit. Cut off some of this access stuff here. Add a little comment. You can do whatever you want. You can leave it as is. Totally fine. And then I'm also going to do some work here, create some placeholder text. I'm going to create a clear button. I'm going to change the return key. Okay, so that is all the settings I'm going to do. The next thing I am going to do is I'm going to create a holder for um, the text that comes in from the text field. And I'm going to give it, um, it's basically not gonna be holding anything. All right, so a few things I need to do here um, in regards to um, working with text field and text view. Now, if you're working in, in your own program, you probably do not want to add the uh, text field delegate nor the text view delegate. Um, if you, but if this is just a one view type of deal, so I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so I have both of my delegates for the text view and the text delegate. The next thing I'm going to do is set the delegate for the text field.
Okay, the view did load. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually create some actions. So um, I like to do marks for mine. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to go through things and to figure out, you know, what I've done or what actions I do have. So let's go ahead and create some space here. Okay, so I need two delegates for the text field. I need um, text field should return and text field did end editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter those now. So for the text field did end editing, what this is basically going to do is it is going to return the text that comes in from the text field. So I'm going to assign it to our holder text and then a text field should return, we'll, we'll dismiss the keyboard. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to resize the text view once it receives the text that comes in from the text field, and we need to resize it so that it shows everything, so we don't have to scroll or any of that. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a, a just an action so I'm just going to do another action here, which is going to be text view resize, because we need to resize it. And how I'm going to do that is resizing the frame. And if you want more details about resizing the frame and how to do this programmatically, so with code, I will go ahead and upload um, a video showing you how to do all this in code instead of just doing it in storyboard but I decided to do it in storyboard first so that you get an idea and then when I do it um, in code then you'll understand what, what I'm doing. <laughs> um, if you're a visual learner you know do this one if not definitely go to the code version one. Okay all right so the first thing we need to do is create a delegate and I'm going to do a delegate for the uh, text view and assign it to itself. Um, the reason why is because the text view delegate is up here, so we can assign it to self. Okay, then the next thing I need to do is set the width, and um, the width is going to be fixed. Um, I've already set the width already uh, with the constraints, so we're just going to leave it as is. So we do a constant, since it's not, not going to change because it's a fixed width. And then I'm going to create a new size. And basically how I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to ask it uh, or provide the parameters in order for it to determine its new size, um, given what comes into the actual text field. And then from there, we're going to reset the frame to this new size, and then we will update it from there. So bear with me. If you have any questions about anything that I'm doing, definitely pause the video, hold down the option key, and click over the pieces of code that you don't understand, because I'm not going to go into much detail. Okay, so I fixed a couple things. Make sure that you are first uh, unwrapping things um, that need to be unwrapped and whatnot. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is a reload. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it a reload a view holding the text view. And you're probably asking why should I do this? Well, because it's only a single view, I can't do um, like view, you know, it did load again. I can't redo it. Um, it's not it's not good syntax anyway. And because it's just a sub view that I need to reload. And since the text view is a sub view, that is what I'm going to be reloading. So I'm going to type this out again. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, 
definitely hold down that option key and hover over what you don't recognize. And here I'm going to call my new function, which is um, the resize text view frame. And then I'm going to do alternate view, which is the view holding the text view. I'm going to call layout if needed. And what layout if needed does is it lays out the subviews immediately if the layout updates are pending. So we need to update our text field did edit, did end editing. Um, method or protocol um, with the call to reload the view. So, all right, so now that we have that in there, it should work. So let's run this. Let's test this out. And there we go. As you see, the uh, text view resized itself. Uh, now I'm going to copy some text that I found here. Just go to hipsum.co. Let's grab a bunch of text. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and then go back, clear, and paste. And let's see what happens. And there we go. So our text view resize itself and it doesn't run off. Um, and hopefully this has helped you out. I know I've had some issues with working with text view and trying to make it resize, and it's just been a ordeal. Um, you can definitely set the scroll if you want to, but at the same time, this is really nice if you need text views that update their sizes automatically. If this video has helped you at all, you know, just give it a thumbs up. I worked really, really hard <laughs> to get this down and hopefully it's helped you out. And then if you want to be updated of other videos that I do, um, you know, just hit the subscribe button and make sure you cling, click on the bell. You have to click on the bell to get notifications. All right, my friends, keep calm and code on.